Hello, welcome back to IT Performance. In today's video, I will be taking some um, temperature readings. Uh, I will be maxing out both the CPU and the GPU to find out what the max temperature both of them are currently getting up to in the current setup. And then when, once I have everything transferred across, I'll do another video to as a comparison to see if there have, has been any actual gains. Okay, so uh, come along, sit back, and enjoy. Uh, hopefully this won't be too long. See you later. We've got the CPU clocking in around 3 to 5%. CPU temperature is at 33 degrees. GPU usage is at one round zero to one percent, and GPU temperature is up around 31 percent. Pulling about 26 watts, and using around 13 gig. got a few things running but nothing's fantastic so let's start some things up so running the heaven benchmark I've ramped everything up to max and we can see up here that the CPU's gone up to around 42, GPU's gone up to 70, 57, 58, but then the GPU's up at 93, 94%, CPU's only down at 17. So the CPU's not actually doing a hell of a lot. Let's see how what the GPU maxes out at, so that's fine. We'll let that run for about 15 to 30 minutes, see what it maxes out at. Okay. See you soon. Okay, so with the Heaven benchmark, temperature for the GPU topped out at around 65 degrees, uh, and CPU jumped up to 56, and so. And now again, you can see the graphs here, taking a couple of dips when I paused the, the benchmarks. The power draw is at 310 watts, 316 jumping up and down, depending on what is happening, what, what test it's running at the time. But generally pretty stable. Okay, let's see if I can find another test that'll ramp up the CPU use. Okay, so we're going to go for maximum heat. Let's see what we can get up to. Blip, 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 blip. Look at that, CPU's instantly up to 73 degrees, 74. We'll let that run for a little while and see if that comes down or goes up. Okay, so after Prime 95's been running for a while, CPU's on 100%, CPU temperature's Jumping up to around 73, 74. GPU's temperature is at 30, uh, 53, while the GPU usage is around 76, 77, around that area. As you can see, all the cores are maxed out and running at 100%.
and the maximum temperature that it's got up to is 75 degrees there. <clears throat> Power is not that, that much to be fair. It has little spikes every now and again, but But it, but it shows that the CPU isn't a huge drain. Probably certainly not as much as the GPU is. Okay, so this benchmarking software, as you can see, the CPU's ramped up to 100%, the GPU's up at 98%, and the temperatures are up at... 73, 74 degrees on the CPU and 65 on the GPU. So if we have a look over here. So it's sucking almost 400 watts of power. Which is fine. Internally, the temperature has gone up to 29 degrees. And as you can see, currently, the GPU's all gone up to 66 degrees. And that's maximum temperature we've had so far. So we'll leave that running for a little while. Okay, so as I was uh, closing everything down, I noticed that the CPU is still up at 100%. By the way, the CPU got up to 78 degrees in that last test. Um, but the CPU is still running at 100%. Now, I have a feeling that PROM95 is still running. Let's have a look. CPU is at 100%. Uh, PROM95. So all through that that test Prime 95 was still running so I wonder what how well I'd do without that running well let's just in that watch the CPU look at the temperature drop thanks for watching hopefully you've um been entertained probably not a little bit boring a little bit dry but uh, so the maximum CPU temperature I got was 78 degrees maximum GPU temperature I got was 66 degrees both Celsius uh, the CPU currently is water cooled but the GPU is not so thanks for watching like and subscribe and come back for the rest okay cheers bye